This is a quick video about how you can deploy your Next.js portfolio website to Forcell. All right, so let's deploy this to the internet. We're going to use Forcell hosting for that, but first we need to put it, put it on GitHub. So you need to log into your GitHub account. If you don't have one, create one. And we're going to create a new so-called repository or repo for short. And we can give this uh, any name we want. So let's call this uh, portfolio website project. I'm going to call it something like this. Let's just call it portfolio website. And it's going to be public. And don't change anything here. We're, go we're going to create a new repository now. Okay, so now um, it's been created, but it's, it's going to be empty now. right? So if I open this up. Uh, there's nothing here, so uh, GitHub displays some instructions here to uh, push your code to uh, this uh, this repo. So let's go to our terminal here. So here I'm going to close all the folders. I can hold, I can do that by holding clicking this icon. I'm going to open up the terminal. I'm going to open a new terminal here. So first we need to initialize this as a project for Git. Right? Git is separate from GitHub. Git is just a technology to keep track of uh, basically the the changes that we make and manage our code base. So what we're going to write here is git init. Okay, so now we have actually reinitialized it because it was apparently already one was already existing. Uh, I think that's coming from Next.js. So as you create a Next.js project, it will already initialize a git repo for you, but it doesn't matter. Now we need to add this link here. Let's just copy this. And what we're going to do is we're going to add that as a remote. All right, so what we're going to type here is git remote add and then the name for this uh, remote it's called origin so it's just wrapping here but uh, the, it's one word and then i'm going to paste that uh, url so that's this whole url including dot git i'm going to press enter and now we can push to that uh, remote called origin so now we need to de decide what to push so we can actually check git status to get an overview of all the things that we've changed since the last uh, commit, and you can see that's basically everything. So we can say we want to we want to add everything now. Okay, we're gonna get some issues here with CRLF that has to do with um, with things like spaces and how a space should be encoded and things like that. That's not really important, but now we can we have added that. So now we can actually commit it. So we can just write git commit and then as a message dash m, we'll just say first commit okay so that has committed all of our changes now and now we need to push it so we can write git push and where to well to that remote repository which we called origin so git push origin and then which branch well we're still on the master branch so the master branch right so here we can say git push origin master and that's going to push everything here to github right so now if i refresh here you can see we have all of our code now here on GitHub. That's basically the same as here, right? Now for me, the, I, this is publicly available, right? So unless you change it to private, this is going to be publicly available. So you can see here in our local files, we have .env.local with this API key, but here I don't have that file, right? Because it's ignored, git ignore, right? Which is, which is what we want. All right, so now this is on GitHub. Now we can go to for sale. So I have already created an account on Forcell. If you have it, Forcell.com, a uh, very popular uh, service these days. So if you don't have an account yet, go ahead and create an account and then log in. And when you log in, you'll see a dashboard. So I already created a project before just to test things out, but now we want to add a new project. So we're going to say add new project. And then here it wants to know where, which project, right? Now basically this is going to be this, right? So we need to tell Forcell um, that it needs to use this code here, this this repo. So we're going to continue with GitHub here. I'm already logged into GitHub, so it can already um, immediately uh, log in here as well. And then you can see we have connected our GitHub account to Forcell, and Forcell will already look at your repos that you have. So what we want here is this one that we just created two minutes ago. So I'm going to click on import here, and then we can give that a name, but you can also change that later. So let's just uh, deploy this and see what happens. All right, so it's gonna build our project as well, right? So you don't have to build your project yourself, but if you wanna do that, in the package, the JSON, there's actually a script for that, right? So there's a build, next build. It will create uh, an optimized version ready for production, right? But now that uh, Forcell is gonna do that themselves on their uh, servers, so we just have to wait a little bit and I'll come back once this has finished.
All right, so here it says, congratulations, you just deployed a new project to Vercel. Uh, so let's wait until this uh, image has loaded. Yeah, so we can see this looks good. And if you actually click on the image, it should already work. So now we, we get a custom URL here and I can see that our project now is live on the internet, right? So they give you this URL that you can go to. We can uh, change this a little bit, but you can see now that our project is live. Everything is working here with the animations. Um, and we can even check the contact form. Now I won't do that here because I already checked it and it does actually work. So uh, you can see everything is working. It's live on the internet. Everybody can go to this URL and they'll see your beautiful portfolio website. All right, now let's quickly change this URL into something that's a little bit more readable. So I will just continue to dashboard here and we can go to settings, project settings. All right, so here you can see they have domains here and there are actually two domains. So if we go to um, deployments here and just click on this deployment that we have, you can see all the available domains here. So they actually create a couple of them. So we can change this. Let's see, we can go to portfolio website. This is showing the deployments. We can go to settings here. All right, so then we can go to domains and here you can see we have that URL. So we're going to edit this. You can actually change this. Now you, you do need to keep the Vercel.app, but maybe you want to just change it to your name. So just Ricardo in this case, it may not be available. So then you need to change something else. Let's see if this is, yeah. So this is not available. It's already used by somebody else. So maybe, um, maybe your full name, right? Ricardo, Ricardo, and then the full name or Ricardo Portfolio. Let's try Ricardo Portfolio, also not possible. Okay, so then maybe actually you do need to use a full name and then portfolio or maybe portfolio site. Let's see if that works. Okay, so that's what the status. That one is actually available. So now when you go there, it's now a little bit, looks a little bit better than this weird call alpha. So now I have Ricardo portfolio site dot All right, so you can play around with that and see if it's available for whatever you want. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.